Now here's something you are not going to hear on the mainstream media. What you do hear is warmongers arguing that we must protect Ukraine because it is a quote unquote democracy. But they're lying. Ukraine isn't actually a democracy. For example, to hold on to power, Ukraine's president shut down the three TV stations that were openly criticizing him and his policies, imprisoned the head of the opposition political party that had come in second place in their elections, and went and arrested and jailed that party's leaders. This is exactly what Putin has been accused of doing. But Ukraine did this all with the support of the United States. So I'm just trying to think, because I think it's a fair question as an American, what's in this for me and my neighbors and the rest of us? And all I'm getting is that we can feel morally satisfied because we hate Putin. Is there something that I'm missing? Uh, no, I don't think you're missing anything. The reality is that these sanctions don't work, whether they were put in before or now or later. These sanctions don't work. What we do know is that they will increase suffering and hardship for the American people. And this is the whole problem with the Biden administration. They are so focused on how do we punish Putin that they don't care and are not focused on what is actually in the best interests of the American people. So when Biden stands there and, and looks directly into the camera and says, you know, defending freedom will cost us, what he really should be saying is looking directly into the American people's eyes and saying, this will cost you. Because these sanctions are not going to cost him or Kamala Harris or the power elite in this right. country, even the power elite in Russia. It is the people who will suffer, the, the American people, the Russian people, people here at home working hard every single day facing those drastically increasing prices at the gas pump, facing increasing costs at the supermarket, impacting our supply chain, the hardships that people are dealing with every day now with Biden's sanctions plan. We're only going to see that continuing to get worse. And it doesn't end there, Tucker. This is the problem is you think Russia's not going to respond. You think Putin's not going to respond. He will exactly. respond. And it's likely he'll retaliate using cyber attacks on our financial systems, our communication systems, uh, on our basic infrastructure. Biden will then be forced to respond. Putin will then be forced to respond. So we end up in this endless tit for tat that leads us where? To, to this looming threat and, and likelihood of this thing going nuclear. And he, again, this is the reality that we all need to understand is true, is that whether it's, it is intentional or unintentional, when you have two great nuclear armed countries at this point of escalation, and then if there is a nuclear attack, the power elite, these people are going to go hide in their bunkers. They'll, they'll have their shelter. They'll have their food and water and ev everything that they need. You and I and the American people, we will be left out to deal with the consequences, to suffer and deal with that destruction and death that will come as a result. And yet we're doing this for principle. The people in charge who don't care at all about our founding documents, who violate their spirit and letter every day, are telling us that an essential American principle is at stake. Do you have any idea what that principle might be? That, that therein lies the hypocrisy. Tucker, is they're saying we are doing this in the defense of freedom, in the defense of democracy, but these are the very same people who are working to undermine our own freedoms and our own democracy right here at home. I have a hard time seeing how they actually say these things with a straight face to the American people when they clearly don't care about these principles right here at home. They don't care about defending them. They don't care about the well-being of the American people. I, I think that's all very clear, and I appreciate your saying it as clearly as you did. Tulsi Gabbard, joining us tonight. Thank you very much.